Today we're gonna make a Japanese matcha green tea Jap mill crepe cake. Matcha crepes on top of crepes. Let's <laughs> okay, let's go over here and make it. This is a 28 layer cake. 28, that is a personal best over here. Mind you, it's crepes, so they're very, very, very thin. I've never made crepes before, ever. I'm gonna make a crepe. I guess I'm just gonna pour this in here. I believe that is a crepe. But we're using an ingredient I have never used before, which is matcha, is the hip green ingredient that all the cool Instagram people use. So some new things today. This is a no bake recipe, so we don't need to turn on the oven or anything. I need to make a ton of crepes, so let's get the ingredients for that. Now, 190 milliliters of heavy cream, 190 milliliters of milk, homemade cake flour, cup of all purpose flour minus two tablespoons, and I added two tablespoons of corn starch. Oh, here's the star ingredient, matcha, green tea powder. Ooh. Two tablespoons of that, three large eggs, five tablespoons of granulated sugar, 30, oh, 35 grams of vegetable oil, but it's probably less now. Saucepan, sugar, milk, and cream. So I'm heating this up until the sugar is dissolved, but I'm not bringing it to a boil. So once that has become room temperature, up. we gotta pour it into a blender. Is this blender big enough? Matcha powder, eggs. What am I doing? Didn't I learn a lesson from a few weeks ago? Break the egg into here, and then you put the egg into the blender. And the flour into this miniature blender, which I don't think it's big enough, but we're gonna try to push it to the limits and find out. And oil on top. The blender has never been so full. So blend this until it's homogenous, just a couple pulses. So if you have a small blender and you're trying to make a 28 layer cake, I guess you're gonna run into this problem. Okay, that is homogenous. Okay, the taste is fine. I just wasn't expecting it to taste like that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it tastes exactly like green tea. I like green tea. That wasn't a reaction of disgust. It was just a reaction of surprise. Yeah. Bowl, please. One. Two bowls. Okay. In our two bowls, we need a sieve. So half in one bowl, through the sieve. Half in the other bowl. Cover these up. So have those in the fridge for an hour. I'm trying to figure out what pan I'm gonna use. Am I gonna use the big frying pan or am I gonna use the small one? It's a 28 layer cake, so I should be good with the small one. On low, medium heat, heat up this pan with some butter. So one hour later or more, just before I start adding the crepe batter to the pan, I'm gonna add some water. It's like a tablespoon or three. Mix it together. So I need a ladle, man. <laughs> Get prepared. So taking some of this crepe batter, I'm gonna ladle some onto this pan so that it coats the entire surface of this pan. And I better do this right because I have to do it 28 times. Yeah, like this. Yes, yes, you bastard. That firms up super quick, so you better act fast. You need a cooling rack. That can go there. Let's just make sure that nothing is getting too attached to the sides so that I can flip this in no less than one minute's time. Cook first side for approximately two minutes, done. The crepe will bubble up, done. Once the sides can be picked up with a silicone tong, don't have it. The crepe can be flipped with a flat spatula. It will look slightly golden, F Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to flip this without tearing it. Okay, how the f do you flip a crepe? This thing is so f thin, I don't know how to flip it. How do you flip a f***ing crepe? With your hands? No. Okay, this is gonna be a bottom piece. My first crepe making experience was a failure. 
The cake is now a 27 layer cake. Let's try this again. I think we have to act a lot faster. So we gotta wait till the butter starts sizzling. Let's coat the bottom part of this pan with this batter. So obviously if you use a lot more butter, it's not gonna stick as much. And then I think that's gonna make the flip easier. I don't want to flip these, but I have no other idea of how to get them off the pan uh, without tearing them, of course. Three, two, one. Okay, we gotta flip this son of a bitch. Ah, oh, you, no, no. <sighs> Grab it with your hands, flip it that way. It had to be done. You need like a crepe, crepe pan. Oh my God. Ah! What if I do an emergency drop into another pan? Okay, that worked a lot better. Oh my God, I have a crepe. And then maybe just do this back onto the plate. The first bowl of crepe batter is gone. I have one crepe. Let's take the other bowl of crepe batter. One, two, three. I think I can salvage that. Son of a bitch. I don't want to take any chances, so if I'm going to be stacking these crepes, I'm going to put some parchment paper on like that. And go. Quick like a bunny. Okay, two minutes, flip it. Let's turn this into a crepe factory. Let's go. Move it around. So once the crepe starts bubbling, I'm gonna flip it. I think I'm figuring it out. So I've run out of batter. And I only have nine crepes, which leaves 19 outstanding. I was just starting to figure it out too. And each crepe was looking a bit better. So I'm gonna make another batch, super quick. Um, hyper speed. So let's make the rest of these crepes, shall we? And after two minutes, I'm gonna flip it over to the other pan and then I cook it on the other pan for like a minute. This is my system. It's working for me so far. No complaints. I don't think I reached my goal. I don't know what number of crepes I'm on. I've run out of batter. Let's take a quick break from the crepes because we need to make our chantilly cream. Mm, some sort of icing. Chantilly cream. It's pretty simple. It's two ingredients, 105 grams of powdered sugar and 360 milliliters of heavy cream. Place a mixing bowl and beaters in the freezer to chill. This will help the cream whip better. So I'm gonna... Put these in the freezer for like 10 minutes, I guess. So I gotta take the mixing bowl out of the freezer. I gotta whip up this shit, and I gotta move fast. You gotta use it immediately, but even more immediate than usual because of the heat. And those temperatures are still incredibly high in the low to mid, possibly high 30s. I'm not sure how many crepes I made. I lost count, but here the crepes are. I have them ready to go and I have scrap pieces if I need an extra like bonus layer of cake. And then I'll be putting the cake onto. Mixing bowl is mega chilled. So are these uh, things, no time to talk. Okay, we're gonna be using Whitey Ford today and we are gonna mix the cream. I need to get the cream. Until the beater starts leaving light tracks in the cream. Light tracks in the cream. I think we're past that point, but whatever. Add the icing sugar. Increase the medium speed. Now let's mix this until it's stiff and matted looking, not glossy. I think we got it. Moving on. Once the cream is completed, use immediately. Spread a thin layer of cream between each layer of crepe. I can do that. Let's use crappy ones on the bottom. Like really crappy ones. Spread a thin layer of cream in between each layer of crepe. Okay. Oops. Uh, in between me using this stuff, I'm gonna put in the fridge. Okay, thin layer of icing. So I'm gonna start stacking all the really shitting layers of crepe first. It's melting so quickly because of the heat. So the crepes are in the freezer. Each time I need a crepe, I'm gonna take one out and then use the cream. With each layer that I add, I'm gonna put everything back in the freezer, let it chill for a second, and then I'll continue. It's the only way this is gonna be accomplished today. This goes back in the fridge. This goes back in the freezer. And we're just gonna keep doing that. I think that was layer three. <laughs> I think that was layer three. Back in the freezer. Back in the freezer. Back in the fridge. 
run out of cream and I still had like five or six crepes left to, um, to stack. And I have right now a hundred milliliters of cream. So we gotta make more cream. Okay, that's it. I have no more of anything. Okay, this needs to go in the freezer right the f now. Uh, let's pray to the matcha gods that this is all gonna work out. It has been many, many, many hours later. I didn't really account for this, but I needed extra matcha powder, which I somehow have. I only have that much matcha powder, so I have to make this count. I'm gonna sift matcha powder on top. what this is all about. I'm not gonna do cartwheels over this one to be honest. Uh, it's not like sweet or anything and uh, I don't know what's going on with it. Does anyone actually like eat matcha regularly? Uh, it's kind of bitter. I mean I like green tea as much as the next guy. I drink it often. It's my like zen drink but I wouldn't rip the tea bag open and start it's a fine cake. If you guys like matcha, if you like crepes, then this is definitely up your alley. But if it is not something that you're into, then maybe you should have this. Or this. Or this. One, two, three. 22 layers of cake. I was aiming for 28. Close, but no cigar. This one has me perplexed. Thank you.